Hello dear YouTuber friends and I do hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to this new video. In this video I'm going to be showcasing a free software that you can get if you're flying on PC Microsoft Flight Sim. It's called Volanta. It's essentially a piece of flight tracking software that you can get and download for absolutely free. Do keep that in mind. It tracks your flights, but it can do a whole lot more than that. Let's take a look at this chap to see where he's going. Well, Cork to Zurich Airport's interesting. It will track other people's flights as well. This is going to be mightily handy for something like group flights, isn't it? You can do a whole load more as well. If you zoom out, you can even see active VATSIM controllers around the world. There you go. Jelly Dick Dickmans, it looks like. Interesting. And there's a whole lot more you can do for this. Again. Where's my flight? There we are. This is completely free. Okay, well, let's not dilly-dally. Let's get on with this video. So let's show you what the Valenta app is all about. Now, uh, who's there? Is that Big, big R? Uh, is that Dr. Oculare? I can't see your call sign, my friend. I've just started recording. I'm at, at Charles de Gaulle Airport. Obviously, somebody saw me, which is great, and come and join me. If you wait a moment, my friend, you can't hear me. Maybe I'll put a quick message in Discord just to say what I'm doing. But I'm at Charles de Gaulle Airport. I'm going to plan a flight over Paris over to Ole Airport. But let's get into the Valenta app. Now, I'm going to put a link down below in the description of where you can get this. You download it, it runs as its own app, similar to Little Nav Map. So if you have Little Nav Map, you know how that runs. It doesn't run in a web browser, it runs as its own little app. So just keep that in mind. This will be similar to what you'll get. You get an, a, once you first run it, if you fly in Microsoft Flight Sim, you'll get a notification like this, plugin not installed per Microsoft Flight Sim. I've installed it already. I've got another notification for DCS World here. I don't need to put install the plugin for that yet. I will do in the future because I do fly in DCS, but not for now. These tabs will be like this. Just click on them to expand them. Let's give you a quick overview. If I scroll out, you can see all these pilots. These are all pilots using the Valanta app. I believe this is highlighted by... They might all be highlighted by default when you first run it. But I'm just going to highlight Valanta pilots for now. If I click on one of them... I might have to scroll in a little bit further sometimes. There we go. Well, he's got the premium version. I'll talk about the different options for this pack later. He's taken off from Charles de Gaulle Airport. He's going over to Euro Airport, Brazil, uh, wherever that is. If I scroll out, you can see his actual flight route. He's inputted a route, and I'll show you how to do that later. And he's flying over here. Isn't that fantastic? I can get statistics about him. Screenshots if he's added. He's not added any screenshots for the flight. Click on his name, use a profile. Oh, he's added a couple of screenshots there, but you can see how many flights he's done, and goodness knows what, and achievements. Uh, so you can click on any of them and get information from them. Isn't that brilliant? I find that part absolutely fascinating. So those are all the Valenta pilots. I'll just click on that for the moment. On this next one down, you can either have it in satellite mode, or not satellite mode, you get a very sort of bland looking map. I prefer the satellite mode here. Just click on that. It'll give you a satellite of the world. Scroll out. It's pretty quick as well at, at updating. 3D mode, which I'll show you more about later. Screenshots, night and day line if you want that. Can be quite interesting. So we're still... I'm recording this around... What time is it? Going on to 1pm my time. So we're in daylight at the moment. And all different things. Emergency planes. Do I need them? Oh, emergency planes. Interesting. Let's 
something I've just discovered myself there. And all different stuff that you can do with that. Let's go back to that first tab. Because I find this quite interesting. You disappear. If I click on VATSIM, it'll show you the VAT... There's quite a lot of them. VATSIM pilots. And it'll show you their routing as well. So these will be live on a VATSIM server. VATSIM coverage. If I click on that... Scroll out a little bit. Are there any VATSIM coverage going on at the moment? There seems to be. All the Scotland here. So it'll give you the information about the VATSIM controller and that type of thing. Finland. Oh, actually, if I scroll in a little bit further, here's one that's... If I click on this, just to view the controller on VATSIM, it'll give you the name, Jorg. And frequency and all that good stuff. Isn't that brilliant? VATSIM, this will be indispensable, I find. It looks like a lot of VATSIM pilots are using this. And I don't blame them. People in my virtual airline, if you haven't been using this, maybe I'll link the video once it's up on YouTube in the virtual airline Discord. Because this will be brilliant. And for group flights, Pilot Sedge, IVAO. There's a few of those pilots, isn't there? And all that good stuff there let's just click off them and keep it on that sim but let's go this will be a flight tracking not so much for flight planning for flight planning you're still best using something like navigraph i'll link a recent video i did down below in the description this is brilliant for flight planning for both xbox and pc keep in mind this is a pc only app for the moment but you can plan a quick and dirty flight like I've done from Charles de Gaulle over to Ole with a couple of waypoints in between. And then input it so that Volanta can track your flight. It's not so much for flight planning this. Do keep that in mind. But let's add a flight plan. You're probably wondering how on earth did I get this picture of my aircraft here? So my specific aircraft here? Oh, my friend's disappeared. Oh, you should have stayed with me. I was about to take off, but never mind. Uh, how did I get that picture here? Well, if you go to settings down here, click on the settings tab, and in settings, go to flight settings screenshots, just here. And then you can add a folder. I've added this folder with a few pictures in it. One of the pictures is this for my Cessna 182. Let's get on with flight planning. Let's add a flight plan. I'm going to do this via text. You can import a file, possibly a flight plan itself. I've not linked SimBrief by the looks of it, or even a SimBrief file. But I'm going to do it via, via text. So, let's do it. LFPG. Is it LFPG? Just make sure, double sure of that. Yep. BT, and let's do that first. BT, just put a space in between each one. Uh, RBT. RBT. LFPO, I believe. LFPO, it is indeed. And click on Save Route. It will update it now on this map in Valenta. And as you can see, it will track your flight over this route and do a whole lot more for you. What I will do now, people, is jump into my aircraft. I've got it up and running already. I'm going to taxi to runway. Let's just show you on Valenta that again. I can zoom in at the airport. It will show you the airport in some exquisite detail that minute detail i'm going to taxi over to runway 27 maybe here somewhere and then take off and bring you back so here we go i'm just at the holding point for runway 27 at charles de gaulle airport 27 left got balenta running in the background as you see i'll come back to that in a moment let me just make sure that i've got you switched to the right window and let's just carry on, shall we? We'll get onto runway 27 left. Now, it was Big R who was with me before. He's just in the distance there. One of our Discord users comes on our group flights quite a lot. How you doing, Hugh? So we'll just get onto the 27 left there. Jump inside the aircraft. Let's make it semi realistic, shall we? <laughs> Actually, just before I do that, nobody's landing there. If you are, well, excuse me. So, Joyce, let's just keep an eye on what's going on there. Let's just go full throttle. We should be fine. Someone else is in a... Oh, it was Big Cloud Pro, I believe. Who was with me before? There you go. It's just above me. 
Well, Hughes there and Big Cloud Pro. Are you using the Volanta app if you're on PC, chaps? Be interesting if you comment down below. Right, I can actually check that in the app, can't I? Gear up. Oh, I've not set my autopilot altitude. All the mistakes here, let me just steady my aircraft just while I'm setting it on my multi panel. Should be no issues. I've got positive rate to climb, autopilot on, and nav mode on. Just going to make sure that my vertical speed is sensible. It is now. And with following. Should have waited to the, end, to the end of the runway. It's not about proper flight procedures, this video, <laughs> thankfully. But there you go. We're on our way and we're flying towards uh, Paris at the moment. Paris at the moment. Let me just switch you, switch you to the Volanta app now. Now, if I zoom in, here's my aircraft here. And it's going towards the course I set up before. It will track that. It will give me statistics of what my aircraft is doing, so I'm climbing up to 2,000 feet. So there's a slight delay, obviously it's not one-to-one -one with the flight sim, with flight sim rather, but it's near enough, there you go, 1,400 feet. And once it locks onto this course, we should be golden. Let's just jump back into the sim, make sure things are okay there. So we're getting up to our 2,000 feet. I do have the course inputted into my GTNXI, thanks to Navigraph again. Link to that video, like I said, down below in the description. Navigraph is brilliant for this type of thing. So the course settings, so I can get my uh, frequencies and things for Ole. I'll do an ILS, runway 6. And there's Paris in the distance. This is live weather, people. Ah. Well, there you go, we're pretty much on our routing now. Let's switch you back to Valenta again and show you some interesting stuff there. So there you go, you can see I'm on my route there, on the course line I set up before. Let's zoom in a little bit. And you've got a 3D map here, look at that! It shows you the elevation of when I was taking off and climb now to 2,000 feet. We get statistics open, there you go, around 2,000 feet, bearing off 235 ground speed. Isn't that brilliant? Let me just bring my throttle back a bit. I don't need to thunder along this route. And there you go. I'm flying along the route. And that is just brilliant. I can get information of people around me here. Let's just see if those people I saw before have Valenta. Wasn't any of these. But you can click around while you're flying around. detail. Once you zoom in there, you can recenter to the map there, by the way, just by pressing the recenter button. What's this chap doing? I just find this fascinating. As I'm flying around, I want to get to see what other people are doing. This is going to be indispensable on group flights. This will be brilliant. I'll be running this in the background, possibly, on my group flights. Doesn't look like he's entered the flight plan, that chap. So that's why you're not getting the whole plan up. As Don, that's a familiar name. He has. He's coming into oh, Milano Airport. Interesting. So we'll be flying along there and over down to here. I just find all this absolutely fascinating, people. For a free app. You really can't beat that. Now, if you wanted to, you could put things like weather on. Let's just put the weather on to see what the weather maps are doing. Not the best day over the UK and France at the moment, is it? Uh, I'll get you back to the flights just now, in fact. Let's just see what the flight's doing. There we go. Parry in the distance. Visibility is just about okay. What I'm going to do, centre my view, come down to my GTNXI, click on LFPO. And I'll get the frequencies for runway 6. Wonderful things you can do with this GTNXI. I'll put a link to this video down below in the description too. I often get asked about it. ILS 6. Tune that in as active 1. So that's all tuned in. Procedures. I'm not going to put a procedure in. But just getting the bearing at 61 degrees. That's fine. Let's get back to my world map. I'll just do this in my motor panel, 61 degrees for the bearing, so when I switch it over, CDI 1, localizer 1, 
will be golden. Absolutely brilliant. Okay, oh, that is a romantic picture of Paris, isn't it? I do believe I've got Orbix Paris installed as well, as well as the world updates in this area. That looks interesting. Ooh. <laughs> so there you go, we're flying along. I might as well keep you. It's not a long flight, but let's switch you back. I don't know, where do we, where do we want to be? Do we want to be in this picture just to see this wonderful sight of Paris? Live weather can be so dramatic at times. Wouldn't be a flight you'll be doing in a 182 in this kind of uh, visibility, I wouldn't expect. Where's the Eiffel Tower, people? Where's the Sen? Uh, like I said, because of the visibility, I'm having trouble picking out... I can see one or two landmarks. But the Eiffel Tower should be a pretty obvious one, would have thought. Maybe I'm not flying along that route. Have I flown past it? Bear with me, just... Now, who's flying along with me there? Oh, there we go. Someone's just behind me there, which is great to see. One of our Discord friends. Can I get your name type? Too many things there. It's Big Cloud, great. And Hughes just behind there. So there we go. Flying along. Is that the Eiffel Tower? It looks like it might be. I'm just getting it just about in the gloom there. Just seeing it, rather. Ah. Oh. I'm just going to go back to the Valenta app in a moment just to show you. I'll show you more of the Valenta app once we've finished the flight. In fact, it's got some interesting statistics about the flight itself. What's up, the Eiffel Tower? Maybe not. Where are you? You should be very obvious. There's a sense, so it should be close by. Ah. Well, maybe not. Oh, it is. Yeah, it's just difficult to pick out, wasn't it? Eiffel Tower. <laughs> okay, so as we're flying over Paris, let's just come down to my GTNXI. Still got a bit of a way to go, so I can switch you back quickly to Valanta. I'm scrolling. Now, I've clicked on one of these people, haven't I? Let's click back on myself to get my own flight information. And the person with me doesn't have Valenta. If you're watching this video, you might want to afterwards, especially as a free app. So there you go. Get into that 3D mode again. I just find all that brilliant. Interesting to see. And there's Parry in great detail as well. Look at it. Yeah, it's good. And I'll get onto this later in my conclusion. Good for flight tracking. And seen other people's flights and goodness knows what. And there's a little bit more you can do with it, which I'll show you later. Ah, jolly good. Back to the flight. What I'll do, I'll just bring you back when we're on our approach to Oli. And there you go, I'm on the final approach to Oli Airport Runway 6. I've got it in fully managed approach mode. Uh, localizer 1, autopilot, and goodness knows what, so I'm just bringing myself down towards runway 6, which you can just about see in the distance. Valenta, of course, is still running in the background, as you can see. It shows on there too. Oh, looks like Volker are just taking off there. That could be interesting. Let's switch it back to the sim, just to concentrate. I'm going to show you something after I've landed here what you can do and see within the Valenta app. It's quite interesting. So it's this runway we're, we're landing at. Going to see how the autopilot... I've noticed with the 182, you put it into full flaps, it can act a bit jittery, the aircraft. So I'm going to try and keep it in stage 2 flaps. It's about 20 degrees of flaps, essentially. Keep it there and bring it down. Just manage my speed. If I get my speed to around 80, I'll be quite happy. It's already starting to act a little bit jittery on low throttle, this aircraft. There you go, see. So I'll take it off autopilot, in fact, soon. Bring that throttle down. I'm roughly 25% throttle there, but that should be okay. No puppy lights here? Oh well. Let's just see. So land. 
I dearly tucked it to my right here. Terrible day for flying VFR flying, but we've managed it somehow. And the runway is nicely lit up, of course. I do like Ole Airport. Ole! Oh, here we go. Once we're all but a sort of lights of the runway, which we're just coming up to now. Another concrete tarmac, essentially. I shall take it off autopilot because it is acting very jittery on my nut. And just fly it out. Try and get here center line as close as I can. There we go, bring that speed back. There's the runway proper. A little bit of rain as you can see. Try and land and float. Nice and smoothly. Oh, that, that'll do it once I... Um, we'll come off the runway. Just bring up my flaps. I don't want to take off again in this weather. <laughs> we'll just come off the runway. I tell you what, we'll just come off. I could taxi and do all that malarkey. People always moan at me. You should be doing things properly. Well, listen, you know, if there's an aircraft landing here, they want me to come off this runway ASAP. So it's what I'm doing. Actually, I could have taken that taxiway... Never mind, there we go. There is a taxiway there which we can take. I'll just run over these lights. <laughs> and I can just... I'm just going to pull off on the grass there, just in case someone wants to taxi using this taxiway. I don't want to taxi all the way to the airport and keep you waiting, because I want to show you something with the app. I didn't take a look whether Big Cloud managed. Well, there you go. He's landed as well, so he should be fine. And Hugh's not far behind him. Let's switch you to the app. Oh, let's actually switch you to the app, not just me. There we go. And I can click on End Flight. I've completed the flight. I can click now on Review Flight. Watch this. So there you go. It will give you... Click on the Play button. It will give you a, a sort of time lapse. There we go. Of you taking off. You can speed that up. Let's put it on four times speed. Look at that. Let's hide that. Maybe that's a quick fast 4x. Let's put it on 1x. There we go. Actually, it's continuing. That's a bit jittery, isn't it? Let's try that again. Doesn't seem to be like to be closed and reopen that. So there we go. Keep it on 2x speed. Just keep that box open. It will give you a review and you can look at it. Can you not look at this in 3D mode? seems not on this part and oh I can I was just moving my mouse the wrong way just right clicking my mouse and moving my right click and hold and moving my mouse up to do that and there you go and if we do make that a bit faster to get towards the end of the flight zoom out a little bit we'll even show you my landing here and I'll show you something on the landing thing in a moment so there we go once it gets to here put it down to 2x speed Oh, 4x. Australians wouldn't give a 4x for anything else. Anybody remember that? <laughs> wouldn't give a Castle Main 4x for anything else. There you go, free advertising. Uh, wasn't the purpose of me saying that. There we go, 2x. And into landing, let's come in a bit closer. Isn't that brilliant for a flight track? It's like a replay tool as well, in effect, with your flight tracking. That is just brilliant. And you can do this, I believe, with other people's flights. This is going to be crazy for group flights, people, isn't it? And let's see me land here. I've got it on 1x. Coming down. Coming down. Excuse the noise in the back there. I'll get inside the aircraft just so it's a bit quieter. And essentially landing on the runway somewhere. And then taxiing off. Well, I've landed already. And taxi off. There you go. And what you can do is go to flights. I've done other flights. I did a flight. Uh, where is it? Yeah. From London City. So it will take me over to that part of the world. And I can do the same thing. Review that flight. There you go. So take off. 
them flying over and you can do that and you can also get landing information so there you go that landing wasn't the best there but if I click on the flights I've done a couple of flights Charles to go to Ole uh, I won't show the review again but you can see it gives you your landing right wind and all that isn't that brilliant so okay conclusions my friend absolutely so look it's a free, if you're on PC Microsoft flight sim this with Navigraph feels my life is complete my flight planning and flight tracking life is now complete in Microsoft flight sim fully recommend this especially as, as it's free there is a premium version if you want to go and do something like schedules you want real world schedules you'd have to get the premium version go and look at the link down that I've linked down below in the, the description for Valanta and where to get it and it will show you the different pricing options perhaps I'll come back to this and review the premium version of it but as a basic free version free you don't pay a penny for it it's a must have but do let me know your thoughts down below give the video a like if you've enjoyed it subscribe for more many more flight simulator videos on their way and I'll be seeing you soon.